Virginia Department of Transportation is one step closer to putting those hot lanes, HOT lanes, mm -hmm. on the Woodrow Wilson Bridge. Those are those express lanes that you can pay to use. Yeah, so the D.C. region's transportation partners just gave approval to study some of those lanes. Our Matt Gregory has been monitoring, monitoring today's actions. And Matt, this is a big step forward, but no changes anytime soon. We should point that out. Yeah, guys, no express lanes anytime soon. But even so, you can see opposition on both sides of the Potomac. And in the end, the D.C. region's transportation board brokered a compromise to drive the process forward. If you've ever wondered how the D.C. region manages transportation projects, sometimes it's Zoom meetings like this. So there were over 1,200 pages of comments in your meeting packet. More than 50 members of the D.C. Regional Transportation Planning Board met this afternoon. Officials from D.C., Maryland, Virginia, and their federal partners. Here we are uh, today to consider this project proposed by Virginia DOT. The board is getting ready to update its 25-year long-term transportation plan. Plan, and VDOT wants to add a project, hot lanes from Springfield to the Woodrow Wilson Bridge. Pay attention to the VDOT spokesperson in the top left square. This multimodal project will benefit commuters and travelers throughout the region. VDOT says turning these inside lanes into express lanes would help with traffic and add money to the transportation budget. And they also could be used as HOV lanes and bus lanes. But to my knowledge, nobody in Prince George's County ever signed off on the initiation of this project, nor was even asked. That, the process and the substance of the proposal do trouble me. That's Prince George's County Councilman Eric Olson. He believes the lanes will add congestion to the county in addition to environmental challenges. However, today isn't about making the project happen. Which, as you just heard, is the inclusion of it in the air quality conformity analysis. It's just a study to see if hot lanes could be added to the long-term plan. Still, with strong opposition, the board decided to do two studies, one on air quality with express lanes on the bridge and one without. It's a bridge of compromise on the future of hot lanes. So there is another interesting note here. The middle lane of the Woodrow Wilson Bridge is actually reserved for a future metro rail line. So today the board actually reiterated that even if the express lanes went in, that would not change that fact. Back to you guys. Yep, this one is one people are watching, mm -hmm. Matt. Okay, thank you.